today we are going to see how you can make sprites scale correctly as well as how you can tile stretch them like you see on the current image on the screen. If this video helps you out at all and you'd like to see future updates, please like and subscribe below and I'll keep them going. Let's open a new project. In this case I made it a 2D project, but it doesn't matter if it's 2D or 3D in this case. I'm going to download a UI pack as well as a tile platformer pack from Kenny.nl. You can find the direct link to both of these in the description below and they're both completely free. Now let's extract both of these folders and then just drag them into Unity to import them. Now that the sprite packs are imported, you can open the folder and view what sprites are in there. Here's all the UI ones. And the first thing we're going to want to do is create a panel, which is going to create a canvas. Now let's just scale it down a bit so it fits better in the, the screen, looks like a little panel. Now if I pick one of the UI sprites and add that to the image component for the panel, which sets the background, you can instantly tell it looks stretched out and deformed and just does not look good. The more we stretch it, the worse it gets. The way you fix this is to do what's called a 9 slice on your sprite. I'll provide a link to the Unity document page for 9 slicing below if you'd like to look into it further after this video. But let's actually take a look at that document right now. Here is an example of a 9 slice sprite. Below the image is a rundown on what happens to each letter section of the image above. So if we look at the four corners that are labeled A, C, G, and I, and you read the note below, we can see that these four corners do not change in size at all. Uh, the top and the bottom sections labeled B and H, these will both stretch horizontally. So basically they'll stretch to the left and the right. Anytime you scale the image, they'll stretch to the left and right, but never up and down. And the next section, labeled D and F, these are the same, except these work vertically. So they will always stretch up and down, but never left and right. They'll keep the proportions no matter how you scale it. Now this middle section I'll talk a bit more about in the next section when I show how to use a sprite in your game instead of just on the UI. Um, but the middle section will actually stretch in both directions. So when you're scaling, it'll actually fill in all the space. You can adjust some of the settings in the inspector as well to control how the scaling is done. Now let's see how this really works by actually nine slicing our UI panel sprite. So pick any sprite that you'd like to use for the background and then click on it to select it. Select sprite editor button in the inspector and this will open the editor. We want to drag each of the outer edges inside of the sprite like we saw in the documentation. This will tell Unity where the start and end of each of those nine sections are. Now if we look at this image like the one we saw in the documentation, you'll see the outer four corners. These will never scale either way. The outer left and right side will scale up and down only, and the top and bottom only scale to the left. So it should keep everything in check. Now let's click apply and then close the sprite editor. And then we want to select the panel again and set the image type to sliced instead of simple. Now instead of trying to scale the whole image like we saw before, Unity will use that slice information and you can instantly see the edges are more crisp and they actually match what the sprite was. I'm just going to change the camera background color a bit here just to make the edges more clear and then show one more quick example here. I'm just going to make a button. This is a really common use for using nine slices is to use the background image of a button. So let's create a new button here. And then as before, I'm just going to show a quick little demo here. If we extend this button and scale it a bit, you're going to see how this image just looks blurry and nothing's clear and it doesn't really fit the style at all of what the the thumbnail of the image looks like. So let's go in and nine slice that just like we did on the other one. Okay and let's select the button again and we'll set the image type to slice now and instantly you see the, the borders are much clearer, everything looks smooth. And if we go into the game view and then actually adjust the scale on the camera a bit just to see it closer, you can actually see the, the edges are nice and crisp. They have a little bit of a drop shadow. That's what the image is actually supposed to look like. It's not supposed to stretch. So that's it for this one. So let's delete the canvas and I'm going to show you another use with using sprites in your game like tiles.
So let's drag in this fence sprite from the Kenny platformer pack. And if we start to resize this sprite, you can see instantly just how it tries to scale everything to fit the new size. And most of the time it looks pretty terrible because it's all being stretched and skewed. We can actually nine slice this one just like we did for the UI. So let's go into the sprite editor. And as you can see, we're just gonna set the, the top corners to be the posts and same with the bottom corners. That'll actually tell you need to never scale those sections. So the top and the bottom of the fence post should actually never stretch. Now let's hit apply and then close the sprite editor. And we want to go set the draw mode to sliced. So now as you can see, when we're scaling the sprite, the top and the bottom posts don't actually scale like we wanted them to. And they look fine, but the center does get all stretched out. Let's change the draw mode to tiled, and you'll see instantly again, uh, this time the inside section of the tile scales as well. There's multiple settings we can change for this in the tiling, so you could play around with that and read into the docs, see what works for you. Some other good uses for something like this could be, um, for instance, like a ladder. It almost looks the same as this fence post. So you could just take a ladder and just keep scaling it up and make it however wide and long you want it. Um, really handy for a lot of sprite games. So I hope this video was helpful a bit. And if it was, click subscribe and like at the bottom and I'll try to get some more out soon. Thanks, bye.